Let's make this parallax scroll with Webflow interactions. Last year, my tutorial did this using only position sticky, but many of you asked how to make this work with any section height and a parallax scroll speed. So let's build it out. To get started, let's add a div to our page and give it the class of scroll wrap. We'll set it to overflow hidden to crop everything inside and then give it a position of relative. Inside the wrap, let's add another div and give this the class of scroll target. This will be the element we move with Webflow interactions. Inside the wrap, let's add one more div with a class of scroll trigger. While we're scrolling past this, our interaction will play. Let's create a position absolute on our trigger, absolute to the bottom of its parent, and give it a height of 100% of its parent's height. For now, I'll also throw in a border of 10 pixels so I can see where it starts and ends. And let's give this events none so it's not clickable and we can click to the content underneath. We can take any section like the CTA section and drag it inside our target. So while this target's being moved, the section inside will also move. And we can place this scroll wrap anywhere we want on our page. Now let's set up our interaction. With the trigger selected, let's head to interactions, create an element trigger of while scrolling in view. We'll apply this to the class and then start an animation. We'll create an animation here called scrolling. So we want to move the sibling target while we're scrolling past this trigger. With the target selected, let's apply a move. And by default, we'll slide it up by negative 50% of its own height on the y-axis. And when we're finished scrolling past this, we'll slide it back down to 0%. So it's in its default resting place. Now, if we were to preview this, we'll notice while we're scrolling past this trigger, we're animating the target and it doesn't stop till the trigger goes completely out of view. We want that to stop basically when the trigger starts to exit view. So when the top of this trigger reaches the top of the screen, when it starts to go out. So to do that, we can save and we can change our end state to be when the trigger starts exiting. So if we were to preview this now, we'll notice our interactions playing while we're scrolling past the trigger. And as soon as the trigger hits the top of the screen, everything locks in view and we're able to read the rest of our content, which is really nice. But what happens if our section is shorter than 100 VH? So right now our section had a min height of 120. Let's back that down to something like 70 VH. And if we were to preview this now, notice how it's animating while our trigger is coming in view. But we really want it to stop whenever the bottom of this trigger reaches bottom of screen. So when the trigger is fully visible. Instead, it doesn't stop until the trigger starts to exit past the top. So we would want this to stop whenever the trigger is fully visible. But if we look at our end state for interactions, we only have when trigger is fully invisible or when it starts exiting. We don't have a stop when elements fully visible. So to fix that, what we can do is grab our scroll trigger div here and give this a min height of 100 VH. So when our section is really tall, like 120 VH, this 100% height will fill all that space. But when our section's short, we're making sure that this trigger is at least the full screen height. So whenever this uh, section reaches bottom of screen, when it's fully in view, this trigger is going to be starting to go out of view and it'll just end at exactly the right place. So if we were to preview this now, we'll notice our parallax is working just fine. And whenever the section's fully in view, it locks into place because our trigger is going out of view. And we can reuse this structure for any sections we'd like. I'll copy this section here and I'll delete the CTA out of this and put the footer inside this other copy. So we can reuse this exact same interaction with some nice parallax on our footer here and it stops when the footer is fully visible. And this will even work when our content has to stack on mobile and the footer is taller than screen height. We get some nice parallax and when the top of the trigger is at top of screen, it locks in and we're allowed to scroll the rest of our footer. So this works regardless of the height of the section. Now what happens if we're applying parallax to the top section on the page? We have to treat that a bit differently. Let's drop in a div and give it the class of top wrap. We'll give it the same settings like overflow hidden, position relative. Inside the wrap, we'll drop a div with the class of top target. And inside the wrap, we'll have another div with the class of top trigger. So let's go ahead and move this top wrap to the top of our page and we'll put our hero section inside the target. So the hero moves with that target. This time we're gonna grab our trigger and actually position it absolute to the top of its parent. We'll give this a height of 100% again. Let's give it the same sort of border of 10 pixels and let's give it the same events none. 
So with the trigger selected, let's head to Interactions, and we'll create our same while scrolling applied to the class. We'll start an animation here, and we'll call this Top Scrolling. So this is going to be a little bit different. We're going to grab the target and apply a move to it, and we're going to start it at 0% this time. So it starts fully visible, and the end state is going to be pushing this down by 50% of its own height. So while we're scrolling past this trigger, we're going to be pushing the target down to create some nice parallax. Now, if we check out our options here, our interaction is starting whenever the trigger starts entering from bottom of screen, which it's way past this point since it's starting at the top. So our interaction is starting uh, before it's fully finished. If we preview this here, you'll notice our start point is like halfway through the interaction at this point. So we could change this to maybe start when the trigger is fully visible. And if we preview this now, it's a little bit better, but it's still starting into the interaction here. And that's because this trigger would be fully visible when the bottom of it is at bottom of screen. So to fix that, we can just grab our trigger div and give it a height of 100 VH. So that way it's always filling the screen height, even for shorter heroes. And it's starting fully visible. And while we scroll past this, we have our nice parallax like so. So that wraps up how to create these interactions in Webflow.